Do you know where Christmas came from? Is another question. You know, I mentioned the Saturnalia, that the Catholic Church adopted this festival called the Saturnalia. It was, it was the shortest uh, day of the year, the winter solstice. It was the shortest day, dead middle of winter. Uh, they took that because it was a grand celebration. It had nothing to do with religion whatsoever. And it was a grand celebration of sort of like a drunken orgy of gift swapping and decorating and just a big hoopla, a big party. Well, the Catholic Church looked at that and said, man, this, if we could give this a, a religious twist, we could get a lot of converts. And of course, converts, that means more money, by the way. And so they said, we'll call this, this pagan to the core festival, we'll call it Christ Mass, Christmas, and say that Jesus was born on this day. That's the origins of it. You know, I've actually heard that the pilgrims uh, would have nothing to do with this celebration because they knew the origins of it. Now, another question. If there were no holidays like Christmas and Easter, where would you go in the Bible to find out how to worship God? Do you know where to look? Has your preacher ever told you this bit of wisdom that I'm about to share with you? If there were no celebrations like Christmas and Easter, where would you go in the Bible to try to figure out, well, how, do, how does God want to be worshipped? Well, let's take a look at it in Leviticus 23 in verse 4. It says, these are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations which you shall proclaim in their season. Notice this. These are the Lord's chosen feasts. They are God's holy days. They belong to Him. They are His special appointments with mankind that He wants man to have these special times during the year called holy days when the church comes together to worship before God. The holy days are revelatory. The holy days are all about Jesus Christ. So why would he not want you to learn all about Jesus Christ? Why would you think God would not have a say-so in how he wants to be worshipped? 